up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, this is Dennis from uh, High Anxiety Bullies and Balls, and today is a very special day for our young lady right here. She just got bread. Yes, sir. My son, Mike Kale, is with me. He's gonna take her out, give a quick walk, take her in the house. Just wanted to show y'all her. We're gonna um, we're gonna be following her. Uh, post uh, videos of her on uh, our YouTube channel and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be documenting the pregnancy the whelping and everything you just get a quick glimpse this is our micro designer bully yes, faith sir. one of the shortest stockiest fully is built correct fully functional Give a shout out to my man Rick and his wife Elizabeth from uh, CMB Kennels, Country Made Bullies. They sold us this dog as a puppy. It's a beautiful specimen of the breed. She's actually what, what you call a miniature American bully or a micro designer bully, however you want to call her. Whatever. She's our dog. We love her. She's a beautiful dog. And then hopefully she's pregnant. All right, my man is going to walk her. I got another shout out. To do, and that's to my man Ryan Gillum from Ultimate Gotti Line Kennels. He sent us. He sent us bad boy juice from his stud dog. He's got about five or six of the world's best designer studs. Ryan Gillum, Ultimate Line, Ultimate, Ultimate Gotti Line Bullies. Sending this bad boy juice. This is our first time. This is my first time breeding a uh, designer bully. So I want to document it. All of it. Maybe I can help somebody else who hasn't uh, bred before. This is the box that. This is the, I'm not really good with the camera, so bear with me. This is the box that it came in. To open the box up comes this was in the box you open the box another lid then you get the frozen pack this is the sperm frozen pack the sperm came in this extra insulation tube is gone because she's been inseminated TCI I chose not to do a surgical because I just didn't want the extra stress on my dog going on the anesthesia and everything like that because of the breed that she is everybody can do what they want to do I do what I want to do and I mean, if it doesn't take it doesn't take and I just have to pay another stud fee I know that the stud owners, they only really like to guarantee the sperm if it's surgically implanted. But, you know, I don't, I just don't feel like I need to be cutting a dog open and surgically implanting the sperm if I don't have to. The TCI is good enough. Where they basically AI her with the camera and um, the cervix was open. So that pretty much means she was ovulating. So we hit her on the right day. Got one more shout out and that's to uh, Darvell Laurie for the exotic he's at the with the exotic connection well he opened a print shop he opened a print shop called the print connection where is it at right there new orleans so i like to support everybody that i can so i got me a shirt beautiful shirt looney tunes i haven't opened it up yet so Bear with me, I'll open it up. Bear with me while I open it up and get it ready for you. Here's the shirt. It's a beautiful shirt. Goonie Tunes on the front. It's 
got my man Taz with the bully. Sent a couple stickers with it. Had to, I ordered the shirt. I had it the very next day. The back is, there's nothing. Is there anything on the back? Nope, nothing on the back. So it's a great quality shirt. This is actually a 5X because I'm a big boy. So I'd like to give a shout out to my man, Duvall. I'd like to give a shout out to my man at the uh, the Print Connect. You can follow him on Facebook. Um, he goes by the name of Gator, I know, on Instagram. Out of New Orleans. Really good shirt, really good dude. He's into the Frenchies and everything now. He's got a designer bully named TikTok. That if you want a stud, looking for a stud, call him up. And it's the Print Connect. That's the place I got this shirt from, right there. Boom. Shout out. Another shout out to my man, Ryan Gillum. I'm not gonna put his address out there and everything, but he's Ultimate Gotti Lines. Beautiful dog that we bred to, bad boy. You could go on his site and check his site. We will be trying to keep the females out the litter. If we if we have a whole lot of them, then they will be for sale. Probably be looking to trade a male or two. Probably trade a male for a um, another male, like a swap, a puppy swap, so I can have a a, a future stud dog. Not the now I know these dogs are gonna be stud. These are gonna be foundation stud type dogs, foundation females. That's why we're keeping the females. Problem is, this is my, this is my Tahoe. Let y'all look at that Tahoe I put together after my car accident. 2002, you know, looks good. Shout out to my Tahoe. Shout out to, I put the lights on it. Put the black, black to grill out, the GMC. You know, it's normally red, got the lights on it. <clears throat> This side, both sides are the same. 2002, after my car accident, I had to get a truck. I couldn't, couldn't be in a car no more. That's why my high anxiety finale, I blacked that out. I actually had that changed. That was chrome, rims were chrome. Changed the mirrors, tinted the windows. Tail lights on, it didn't, the most expensive thing was the rims. Black Yukon on the back. I might have said Tahoe, my bad. I keep saying Tahoe, but it's actually Yukon. GMC. Yeah. So our plan with the litter is to is to grow our kennel, keep a couple of the puppies. Females anyway. Can't breed the male. I don't want to breed the males back to his mother or his sister, so I like to trade a male to try to get him my own stud. If not, then I'll just use somebody else's stud until I can get my own stud. But like I said, my girl Faith, she's one of the most correct, smallest bullies you'll ever see. Exotic bullies anyway. Micro, whatever the name is this week. It's all, everybody's changing the name to pocket, to uh, what they call them, teacups, to designers. Everybody, every it seems like every breeder, every 10 breeders, had, call it one thing, another 10 breeders call it something else, another 10 breeders call it something else, you know but she's a micro designer bully I w she's, I mean made in America but I wouldn't call her American bully anymore because she doesn't resemble Amer she's not an American bully you know she's not an F1 either, she's a designer bully, and her puppies are going to be designers, they're going to be they're going to be uh, um they're gonna start out, you know, price range is, is gonna depend on the quality of the dogs that come out, but we're expecting high quality dogs that have a high quality female, high quality male. Sorry, I'm not good at editing or any of that on this, so this video is what it is. So give a shout out to my man, Ryan. Check him out, Ultimate Gaudy, Gaudy Lion Kennels. We used this boy, his bad boy stud. Gave us the, he gave us the, uh, the sperm when we needed it, right on time. And Deval Lowry with the print connect and the exotic connection. Check him out. This is Dennis from High Anxiety, Bullies and Balls. And we'll catch up with you. Peace.